Well, hi there. This is Linda, and welcome to my channel. So happy you could stop by my uh, little art channel today, and I'm going to share with you guys what I found on Amazon Prime Days. So I'm going to get started. The first item is a sketchbook. Um, I saw this on another channel, and I cannot for the life of me remember the name, and I'm so sorry. But if you're watching this, please drop a note down below and um, let me know it was you had showed this on your channel. So um, let's open this up. This is such a cute presentation for this sketchbook. It is in this cute little box. So I'm going to open the box. Okay, and I will link everything below, okay, so you all can find. So you open it up, and it has, take these out, and move this box to the side. Then it's got the cutest presentation with this vellum paper. It's called, it's by Yoment, Yoment Sketchbook. Okay, oh my gosh, look at this. This is beautiful, and it comes with two pencils, and they are not marked, but I imagine, I had to check the, uh, the um, listing and see on Amazon if they're just regular HP. I imagine they are, um, but I just fell in love with the book, <laughs> but they are supposed to go right here, so you lift up this little gum band and this is a little gum band here and they go right there so how cool is that you, know, you stick your other one right there so um, it's 180 um, GSM and it has this gum band here it comes off and you open it up and oh my gosh so the pages are not heavy. They are um, just mainly for pencil pencil work. You could probably do a little bit of marker on here, um, but they are perforated, so you can take your pages out. Um, but I don't know if it would bleed. I haven't tried. You know, I just opened this like you saw, and it does have back here pages markers, so you can mark your page. So very nice, and it's so cute. Um, I just, I love it. I just think it's the most cutest little sketchbook, and it's got this cute floral design, and it's and it's leathery. It feels like smooth leather. Okay, so there's that. Like I said, I will link these down below so you guys can find them. Okay, no particular order. The next item. I want to share are the Paul Rubin, Rubens oil sticks, oil pastels are really calling them. So they had um, them on sale that day, um, I, I, like 8th and 9th was Prime Days. And these are much bigger than they actually look on camera. So um, I got both sets. So I'll take the colors out. And this is coming in a really soon future video because I want to test these out, do a swatching, and do a, I'm losing some of my lids, um, we'll do a little painting with these. So here's the first set. Okay, so, and then that day that I, when I do these, I will tell you the colors. Um, let's just look at one and we'll see what's on here. Of course it's written in another language that I can't read and it's got some numbers. Um, Paul Rubens oil paint um, Mandarin. Right there is the color. It's that'll focus right there. Okay so that's the first set and they come in this cute box that's really nice. Really nice and sturdy that you can keep them in very nice so um, and as for myself I will be keeping these paint sticks in these little containers that they come in so they don't dry out and so they don't get sometimes they'll get a um, uh, 
a, oh, like a film over top of him. Um, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm, I'm putting um, the lids back on. To me, some of the lids um, want to come off fairly easy. So I have been popping them back on um, and putting them back in their containers because they are wanting to come off easy. So I'll have to fetch the other ones in a minute. I will take this white one out so you guys can actually really see it really nice. Okay, so there is that. All right, get that back down in there, which it doesn't want to go down in there too good. So let me take it down in the other end. There we go. Put the lid on. They got these little foam uh, pieces of foam in them at the ends also. So, all right, I'll have to fish those lids here in a minute. So the second set. And I'm just taking these out so you guys can see the colors, and then I will talk more about the colors on the next video, or when I put that video up, of what all the different colors are, and then I will do a swatching also. So, and this is just to show you the range of colors that you get in this video. Okay. Those. And you get 12 in the set. Okay. All right, and there they are. So in this set here, there is no black and no white. Only in the other set, they offer the black and the white. And then um, I'll show you here next what else I got to add to these. So. All right, there they are. And I will link these below so you guys can find them. I originally did see these on um, Linda Marcel's um, page. I do remember her showing these on there, and that's when I fell in love with them. I said, I've never tried oil paint um, sticks or in a stick form, but they're... It definitely says oil paint, Paul Rubens, but they're calling them paint sticks. So, okay. So what I did was I ordered some more black and some more white because I just feel that I am going to be using those two colors, you know. You need the white and you need the black to darken. So white will light, dark will, black will darken. So here they are. So I bought those separate. They were separate, of course. Um, and they come in two in a pack. Okay. So there they are. Okay. All right. So there they are. And... Along with that, I got this Frederick canvas pad. This is a canvas pad. There's 10 sheets. It's a 9 by 12. Um, it's acrylic primed for any medium. So I want to use this paper for those oil sticks. And also, I'm going to use mixed media paper, too, to see... Um, how they look, how they work, how they feel. But it's medium texture and um, I thought I'd give it a try. Okay, so that's that. And then I also found, these are also by Paul Rubens and the one, well they come together like this. Okay, and they are sealed in plastic and it has this band around it. So I took one out already, and I'm going to take the band off of this one. And these are sketchbooks. And it is cotton. And it is hot pressed. And it's 300 GSM. 
So when you open it, it is one of the accordion, made in an accordion style. You can see that. And it all folds down. And they are perforated, so you can take them off. So I thought that would be nice to try and just, you know, have a play around with and see how they turn out. And I might use those oil sticks on there just to see, you know, what I can come up with. But they're very pretty. They're gold gilded gold in there. You can see that. Very pretty. Okay, next I got just a couple more things here. I got some watercolor paints. These are by a, a company called Tinge. Tinge. There's eight colors in here. This had terrific reviews. So they're kind of comparing this to the Fine Tech. And I wanted some gold shades of gold, different shades, and some bronze. Um, I want to do a fall painting, a watercolor painting. And I found this, and I the, the reviews are really good. So I purchased it, and then this also comes with a water pen. And then your colors here. So I'm thinking this is going to be really nice to play around with. So I'm going to give that a go. Um, let me see if there's anything on the back here. Oh, it just gives you the, um, the picture of the watercolors. It says... Um, Artist grade metallic watercolor paints are vivid and including one water brush. Um, lightweight design for easy to carry. And let's see what else they're saying. They're great for adults, professional artists, schools, and home use, and kids. So, but here's the colors you get white gold, which is here. And then I'll just go down the line it's light gold cyan gold, yellow gold, pure gold, deep gold, mm -hmm. copper gold, and black gold. So they are going to be fun to play with. Okay, so there's that. Alright, and then the very last thing is Papermate had their um, number two um, pencils. They are the mechanical pencils. They were on sale. You get 10 in this pack, and I like to use these when I am sketching out a watercolor painting. This is this is what I use. Oh, and they also have the twist up top with the eraser, and I find these work quite well for me. So, and it was really good buy on them because I usually just pick up these at Walmart, and you know I have I have a few that I bought singly, but um, yeah, I think these are. I really like these so okay so that there is my haul for um, Prime Day and I really thank you guys for stopping in and watching my channel and thank you for just taking time out of your day and um, stopping by I really appreciate it so um, until next time, you guys um, have fun creating and keep painting and uh, keep making those wonderful masterpieces. Until then, I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye, guys.